Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a video which is going to be going over Lamando and Goodbye to the Dolphin's Dream. I wanted to cover both of these in one video because of the similarities and I also found them, if you didn't know, from the shock website Iceberg, but I didn't want to go over them there as I thought they were too interesting and wanted to make another video on them. Also, just quickly, before the video starts, um, I made a Twitter account. Um, I don't really use Twitter, but I might use it now that I have one um, in the description, and I'm probably going to make a Discord soon, so uh, look out for that. First, I'm going to be going over Lamando, and it is a Japanese screamer website, which is also called Fancy Island. This website starts like this, obviously being cute, normal, just looks like um, an average website for a sort of cute character. But when you click the girl, the lady, whatever, the one with the cat ears in the middle, it takes you to another bit of the site where it then asks you to enter. And this is where it gets weird. The version which I was playing is a little bit different to the one which I have the most information on, but I thought that I would still use um, using my video as sort of reference as things, as it is very similar. So... In the version which I have the most information about, uh, the site contains a story which is the same. Most of this is the same, it's just the, the puzzles which are different. Throughout the game there are different puzzles which then lead you to an end boss of the website. Many consider this a horror puzzle game which I 100% agree with and I was very surprised that it's just free on the website considering it's this complex. The script of the website which I have is from January 26th, 2012, so it is quite an old one, but I read through a lot of them, and a lot of them are very similar, and there's not really a transcript for, like, the, the one which I played. But there are a few easter eggs slash screamers on the original page, not even when you're in the game. So, if the player presses skip too many times on the character panel, a screamer will appear, the character description will get distorted, and it will be replaced with only A's. Also, instead of a character picture, it will be an eye staring at the viewer along with a loud laugh. Also, when it was around Christmas, there was a Christmas event, I guess, and during Christmas, if the player clicks on the Santa Claus picture in the above left corner, the player will be redirected to xmaschallenge.html. Then, Santa Claus pops up telling the player to choose three presents. If the player picks the wrong present, Santa Claus gets dark. After this, a compilation of screamers pops up while the scream is singing Jingle Bells. New Year's event. During the new year, if a player clicks the mini with a Yukata below the site, the player will be redirected to another flash animation. And finally, if the player clicks on Mimi's picture, the player will be redirected to the game. There is a list of every consequence for clicking on the buttons below the black haired woman, and she greets you after you enter the doors. The first one is called Elizabeth, and this is where six Elizabeth masks appear while a loud annoying laugh is playing on a loop. Clicking in one of the masks will result at at least one screamer. Akuru, first mask. Just some red coloured text that has no meaning at all because it was only made for Unicode codes. Two words of the text are highlighted in a darker red which will redirect the player to another page. The first link is called Picture Matching Door which is just a part of the game's puzzle. There is a door that leads to each image of the doll and it has a different colour too. The second link is called No Meaning At All. At this link there is a video called Some Japanese Text Which I Cannot Read and it has a minor jump scare. The video shows Bori running with Japanese text that actually says To the hint, please check out for the hint for advancing that one between dolls ahead. Con, second mask. Screamer. A con con is shown constantly banging in high speed on the player's screen, luckily with no scream. Con con is a Japanese ometopia for bang bang tap tap or knock knock. And this is definitely lying because I remember very vividly that when I got this one uh, there was a very loud noise. I don't know if it was a scream but um, it, it scared me. Although I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie, it did scare me. Uru, third mask has a screamer, a camera watching a room, and at the time of recording is the same as the clock on the player's computer. However, at 12am, security appears shaking, but no sound. I wouldn't really say that this one is a screamer, because when I first got it, I was just I was just confused. You know, like I didn't I didn't even know what was going on. Um, flashing lights for this next one, so if you're sensitive to that, just skip ahead like 30 seconds. 
This one is called Yadad Fourth Mask and it has a screamer and flashing colours. There are two doors and 21 babies being flipped while changing colours from blue, yellow, red and green. Moving the cursor on the baby at the bottom of the centre will result in the Kadzu baby popping up laughing. Also, I'm pretty sure that what I shown there wasn't actually the footage for the one I just described, but it was the closest thing which I had for it. Um, I'm not quite sure how I didn't get footage for it, because I'm pretty sure that I um, explored a decent amount. But anyway, that's the, that's the closest I had. Okay, this next one is called Psycho Left Door, and it has a screamer. The light will follow the player's mouse and there will be many doors that move in random directions. Opening a door with no door in it will result in a psycho to pop up and fly across the screen with it a short and shrill scream. Every time a door is opened, the player's flashlight battery will decrease. However, if a door is opened and it has a door in it, clicking on it will take the player to a page with a red background and a YouTube video that is 26 minutes. Sorry, 26 seconds. And it is titled Another Japanese Thing, which I can't pronounce, which means Fear Psychic Images Captured by the Camera. Once played, the video starts with an empty interior of a passenger train or a bus. Jacob briefly appears, then disappears, walking through the screen. Static appears for a brief moment, then the Jake appears, walking out of the YouTube video and loudly screams, thus leading the player back to the main page. I remember this one because I thought that it just, you know, led me to a YouTube video, but it was like, it's a fake YouTube video, you know, it like, it makes it look as if it's YouTube, but it's not, it, you're still on the website, so this was a pretty well done screamer, in my opinion. Sadly, I don't have video footage for this as well, as this was the very first time I went on the website and I didn't get it again when I was recording, but this is just more encouragement to go to the site yourself. I don't want to spoil too much, which is why I'm mainly showing gameplay, because it was really fun, you know, and like not knowing uh, what comes next is part of the reason why I liked it so much. But yeah, I strongly encourage you to check out this website after this video. Co. Right door. A room with two bookshelves and a door. At the center with the plate that reads gallery is shown. Clicking on the door will supposedly walk the player there, but then the player will step on a trap and fall through it, thus getting impaled by spikes. Um, Onama... Tabia Pa, Fifth Mask. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna pretend that I pronounced that one right. But anyway, this one is a screamer and it's a door where the player has to correct five digit code on it. If the player does too many attempts, a healthy version of the character Dorodo fills the screen along with a loud laugh. It actually isn't part of the game's puzzle, it's just a red herring. The correct code for this is left, right, down, down, up. Entering this code will make you click the door and you will be led to an insomnia.html. This page has a dot just like the main HTML. Clicking on it will result in a Windows XP error. Clicking on the X will make five of it appear. Clicking the last one will result in a Paiyama Pai Man pop up with a loud scream and then he will challenge you. And this is where it gets really cool because you're getting challenged, you know? And I have gameplay obviously what you've seen of me wrongly entering the code but i wish i knew it because this seems so fun so yep i'm definitely going back and um replaying this after this video as should you because just look how much fun this sounds okay so the payama fight the fight will begin as he uses three skills rock paper or scissors you also have the same skills just like him if it is the same it will result in a minor jump scare where a pair of eyes appear with a laugh and obviously when you beat him, nothing really amounts from it as the puzzle was just a red herring. This is kind of like the, the optional bosses. <laughs> this is literally an optional boss which you can do, but it still sounds fun to play rock, paper, scissors with the pie man. Curse, six mask, has a screamer. Trigger warning of making yourself go. Uh, I'm not going to say it because YouTube's stupid. Anyway, an upside down man, distorted character, Pura Pura, who appears to resemble Jeff the Killer, appears accompanied by the same tone as the black screen of death with Japanese text at the very end. There is text that reads, Notice, this voice signal is a signal especially made for quality control. If a player clicks on her 45 times, she will become more distorted and a player will be redirected to a screamer. A black page with text about thing appears, and when it finishes, lots of windows pop-ups appear, reading, If you want to be saved, then die repeatedly. And then, 
Borai appears screaming while she brings her hands to the scream. The text before the scream appears reads as follows. My constant self-hatred makes me feel nauseous. If every day I could compensate my 100% depression into 1% happiness, then living that day by day for more than 10,000 years could be good, because I want to end every second of my pain. If living is nothing but unreasonable, then I started to think then it's reasonable to die. To complete with some people who want to die to make problems, to have the necessity to take responsibility, you don't need to worry about any of these anymore. Before death's eyes, everything about being alive is meaningless. The people that live helplessly in the meaning of being dead is better will make everything end. If you want to be saved, then die. If you want to be saved, then die. If you want to be said, say, you know, it keeps going. Just ignore my stutter. And there's also a lot of logs, which I said earlier, which date back to January 26th, 2012. And if I'm being honest, there is just too many of them. I think there's like six and all of them are like a lot of lines long. Let's just say that I, this video would literally be like a few hours if I was to read like half of them. And I don't think they actually benefit anything to the actual game. If I'm, I don't think they do. But I'm going to read a few from January 26th so you can get the idea, but if you want the rest of them, a uh, link will be in the description to where I got all my information. Okay, so they all have different subheadings such as Heaven, Eden, Toped, and things like that. So I'm going to read a few of them. Okay, this is from January 26th as I said, and this one is Heaven. The background is red and has a lot of fake cursors that confuse the player, that follow the player's cursor. As well as a door in the middle of the screen. If the player clicks the doors, someone drops down to the center of the screen from the top left corner. If the player takes too long, another player appears along with a moan, accompanied by the sound of banging. As the player then gets sent back to the main page, it also knows when the player is cheating. In any attempt to cheat, a screamer will pop up. This next one is subheaded as Paradise Sky. There are two doors to click on. If the player clicks on the left door, it will show a paper with the four digit code 2648 written on it. If the player clicks on the door on the right, it will be a baby's, it will, it will be a baby, just a baby, or it will be a human made of meat. And then after a few sections, a pale ghost woman with something unknown on her mouth pops up with a loud scream. So you get the idea of what these are. These are just different things which you can sort of find, I guess you would say, in the game, which don't correlate to... They, they correlate to the main story, but they're not to the end or anything like that, if you know what I'm saying. Or maybe they are. I'm not sure. If you know more about this, leave it in the comments, but this is just what I'm, I'm interpreting from all of this. I like getting all my research but not reading through it until I make my video to sort of make the, the commentary more uh, genuine because it's sort of my first experience too. But I did skim read all this and I didn't really understand what it meant and reading through it properly. Still don't really understand what it is but uh, yeah it's still, still fun to read. As I said there are a lot of these and these I'm pretty sure they stem off from another part of the maze. This is what I was saying when it is, it's just massive like there's so much so... I couldn't possibly cover it all in one video. But now I'm going to move on from this one to the mobile version. Yes, there is, there's a mobile version of this. Okay, so first I'm going to cover some of like the, the websites and screamers which it takes you to. So the first one, simpdex.html. The page was the same as the start page, but there is an English translation for the page. Clicking on Mimi image will lead you to a warning about the game and clicking the curtain will lead you to the main page. The main page has a door. Clicking on it will result in the woman again, but this time there will be four dots, and this is what the consequences are. Okay, the first one will have four Elizabeths moving back and forth, and clicking on them will lead you to content. Here it is. First mask. The first mask is the same, but nothing will happen, and you'll get jump scared by the same clown with a loud scream. Second mask. The second mask is the same as Concon, but instead of slamming your scream really fastly, and the background is red instead of black. Baby. This page is similar to your dad.html and has three doors. First door will make you get jumped by Kasudo Baby with a laugh, which sends you back to the start of the page, but the babies at the first door were gone. Clicking the baby on the second door will lead you to smukshoko.html and the third door has a jump scare at 007 and the video where Jaker, bloody school with the tongue sticking out, would burst out from the screen and she jump scares and kills you. 
Fourth mask, the same cursor appears with the same distorted signal noise that appears. Second dot, the second dot will lead you to three mirrors. Two lead you to a screamer and one has a password that you should type. Smurro file, this shows information but the manager photo was changed to Kandarin no Yoshiro, new character and her eyes were rolled backwards in the painting version. Clicking on her photo will result in Shinatai appears but the static noise is not repeated. Okay, here we have another big one, which is SMP door or Sumpor door, I don't know how to pronounce these, but it shows many doors, 25 in different rows, and one will result in a jump scare. The first one, it shows you something which I can't pronounce, run towards you but not harming you with a moaning sound. Second one is the famous Japanese jump scare in Para the Sky, and it shows the demon appear. Third one is it shows Ellis bouncing back and forth with a giggle. Seventh one, it shows on a drop from the ceiling and jump scares you. Eighteenth one, a text appears lying and there is another part of the paper called area. Okay, now we're onto the fourth dot. Yuki would suddenly crawl towards you and break the screen with a moaning sound. This is again just some of them and if you want more information or play it yourself, do it yourself, play it yourself. I am not trying to encourage you but play it yourself. Um, as I said, links will be in the description. And if none of this really makes sense to you, um, don't worry, I think that's kind of the point of it. Like, there's a lot of theories and things. But now, before we move over to the other one, which I want to cover for today's video, I am going to show you basically all of the footage which I had for this website, Uncut, so you can see what it's like, uh, how it flows, and things like that. So, enjoy.
Okay, next I'm going to be going over Goodbye to the Dolphin's Dream. This is very similar as it is also a Japanese sort of web horror game, but this one isn't as nearly complex and I'm pretty sure that there's only around seven, seven or six outcomes, but nevertheless it is still very weird and also, uh, I don't know if the word is fun, fun, uh, entertaining, yeah. I would say it's, it's entertaining, is a Japanese screamer website considered to be one of the words you shouldn't search on Google. The author of this site is actually the Vocaloid music producer, Atlas. He made this site when he was a teenager and was studying HTML. When the page is opened, you see a girl with pink hair and she says in a lovely voice, please go ahead after killing me. You start clicking on her illustration and it's basically like you're, you know, beating her up. Which, um, don't beat up women. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to show it because it's, like, it's not bad. But, you know, it's just, like, YouTube. They probably wouldn't allow it. But anyway, after that happens, um, she comes back. Like, you do it so many times that it's just, like, a smudge. And then if you click the smudge again, she sort of, like, reforms. And then, uh, you get taken to a site where there are squares flying across the screen. And as I'm sure that you have probably guessed by now, these squares have something hidden behind each of them. So, first square, a hand is displayed. Second square, it used to be a page of Japanese word that possibly means manga. There is a comic of a girl and a stuffed rabbit. The girl eventually beheads the rabbit. The rabbit farts. And then the girl screams that he is not her friend and beheads him. If you keep clicking, some abstract art drawn in black ink shows up. Third square, uh, Iruka's dead body moving in a fast way, and that is the, the pink-haired girl. Fourth square, the Pokemon shock phenomenon from the band episode Dino Senshi Porygon. It may occur if you click there. I'm going to skip the fifth square for now as it's the most detailed, and I'll do that one last. But sixth square... There are more squares here. You will only be redirected to four pages after clicking in these squares. One that displays a fast array of some random images and a bandage that says Japanese text. The page repeating death in Japanese and one that will redirect you to the fourth square page, so be careful. Seventh square. A picture of a flower will appear. If you click on it, you will be redirected to a page repeating death in Japanese. Eighth square. You will be redirected to a page called mmme.org. Despite the URL, the site is actually harmless and there are only some beautiful and yet shocking illustrations of an artist called Ryuko Azuma. Ninth Square, you will be redirected to Atoll's website. Tenth Square, again, you will be redirected to another site called MMLab. Okay, now, Fifth Square. Right, once you do this one, you click on one of these links, you will be redirected to a random piece of extremely loud audio. Every link has a different audio, so if you click on it, behind, a robotic voice saying 3, 2, 1, and then some strange noises will be heard. Manko Kara Unko, a chipmunk voice saying some inaudible words, and after some seconds, it will turn to extremely loud audio. I am 17 years old. Again, a chipmunk voice, unaudible, singing with a cute by ro robotic beat. Die Die Die, an extremely loud chip tune music with a voice singing in Audible. Medicine, a slow tempo song with a voice promoting a medicine, probably the most normal audio on the site. And then it carries on with various things which are very similar, but my favourite one is definitely the one called Mouth, and it is a male voice singing, my name is Atalus, and then starts beatboxing. I don't know why, <laughs> I just find that one quite funny. But anyway, now I'm going to show some footage of me on the website, but I'm going to have to probably cut out the bit where I go to the MM lab because it's not like bad, it's just like a lab from like, it's like a doctor's like hospital, you know, like one of them websites. So like some of the, the photos aren't exactly welcome. But apart from that, uh, enjoy the rest of it.
and that is gonna have to be it for today's video uh thank you so much for watching next week i will start on the new iceberg videos and as i said uh, i made a twitter so a uh, link in the description and i'll be making a discord soon so look out for that as i said links to everything that i use in this video in the description but i hope that you enjoyed watching thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one